Since you are running unopposed, give us an honest evaluation of yourself. How familiar are you with the duties of the Garo? Do you believe that you are able to fulfill this responsibility, especially coming into our junior year? Um, honestly, I didn't really know that much about Garo until this year specifically. Um, I remember reading through the Constitution and looking through at all the different positions that I would potentially want to do. And when a lot of people were asking me like, what my why was, um, Dara was the one that really stuck out to me because of how and why I would want to do the preparation. Um, how I understand the responsibility is just to not only connect like membership with alumni and organizations out of here, but also to like internalize it, have everyone communicate with one another as well. Um, I feel as though that I have done my research not only organizations that we still keep in contact right now, but also ones that we've kept in contact with before. And I've done my research on, especially the ones that we've contacted in the past, that I would love to get back into contact with. And I feel as though that prepares me for this position. Jacob? Hi, as a former Kasama who has been in your shoes, but as a general member too, we always acknowledge that we are students and individuals first. However, this tends to become a common trend to prioritize planning and attending events or extracurriculars before our studies. How do you plan on keeping not only membership, but your executive board in balance in times of hard deadlines and events as they reoccur throughout the academic year during our events? What space and methods will you provide for those in your I think what's really nice is that ever since that I've joined Kasama, the same phrase has been going around. Yes, you are a member of Kasama, but before that you're a student, and before you're a student, you are a person. Therefore, you have to take care of your person and yourself first. And obviously we want to emphasize that and keep talking about that as time goes on, but sometimes that message does get lost. And I feel as though like, sending out like little reminders of like, good luck on finals week, or like, posting on the Instagram when like CASA has their registration hours open, like when the CASA coach is in person and you can just drop in and always help. Because I know that helps me when I do class res registration. But just like keeping membership and board like aware of those updates that is going on around the school, especially with academics. Because I know that like with how busy Kusama is, all of those like academics and all of those things kind of get lost in translation that for me, as my, like, as this, being in this position, it would be very helpful to remind those, of, remind membership and board members to focus on studies, obviously, and themselves, and so like, sending those little reminders to as well. I think you know what I would ask. <laughs> if there were any other candidates, uh, what would make you stand out, and what would convince us uh, of your intention and your uh, potential for this community. I think what makes me stand out is that I very much I feel as though like throughout my speech, it's like what Jacob said, like regardless of whoever's word I guess I might not change anything in my speech. I would not change anything that I've said. And I believe that through that speech that I did even though I didn't get to finish it, I did get to say what I want to say. And through that is my own words and my own emotions and feelings towards this position and towards this Omahan as a whole. I feel as though that, especially, <laughs> especially, I guess, because I am so, I would like to say I'm very involved very much everywhere. People do like that. And like, I am a very caring person. I like to check in on everyone. I like to make sure everything's okay. And that's how I feel towards Kisola. Any position that I were to run for, um, that I would overall, that I would always put my heart fully into it, my words fully into it, and that whatever I say is always coming.
projects such as Meet Me at UC4, the rebranding of the Kasamohan LinkedIn, Arca Familia, and Alumni Ancestor Wall, Chico with Alumni, as well as Kaleidoscope. Our pre-professional network, academic, and alumni communities footprint is building its foundation from what my predecessors have planted within me. A lot of Dara support is the connections I've made personally. How will you use Zoom? How will you use or create a network for yourself or alumni from not only this graduating class, but two to three years before me in the history of alumni throughout Kasamahan history to make your individual mark? What is that love for you?
the fact that they still do that, I would still like to open the space for them and be there as a support system for them as well. And so I feel like after all that has happened and everything I just said, that is how they are chosen this and why it is to be Doro events usually have a lower attendance and you may not gain as much support as you would like. How will you navigate this challenge so that you, may, so that you won't build a resentment from this space? Can you repeat the last part? How will you navigate this challenge so that you won't build a resentment for this space? Um, I think like getting attention and people to stay in this is always hard. And that's just... It's just how it is. People have busy lives, and I think that's something that all of us can just understand. And um, yes, it is hard to like, keep people out of this, but I feel so like it's not only my job to reach out to those to get people to my events. There are other board members that are there to help me as well. And so utilizing them, and if something doesn't work out, then we have to like, obviously be flexible about it and like, see what does work. So if something doesn't work, then the next event we'll try something different. Um, it's more of just being flexible about it. And I don't think, personally, I don't think I would grow resentment. It was just something that I would have to go from instead of presenting and like, feeling bad about.
to become part of us, to become part of our family as well. What are your intentions for running? My intentions for running, I said this in my speech, and, well, I kind of touched on it. I really believe that a lot of my reason to be here still was because of alumni, and because of how much it represented I was wanting to do as much for them. And hopefully, today this space to not only welcome membership and new membership, but to also welcome them back in if they want to come back. And I also, I just, I had a lot of fun <laughs> um, researching different organizations, like the ones I just talked about. I also had a lot of fun looking up the SOMA Filipinas and all the different like locations that are there. I feel we could just hopefully talk to them and like reach out to them because there's so many. It was a long list of places that were there, and it just made me really excited that I wanted to go there and talk to them. And hopefully, bring because I'm on there like field trips and everything like that. So it was just the excitement and the research that I got to do that really made me want to run even more than after I accepted the, nom the nomination. From the outside, we look like a bubble, but from the inside, we can only do so much. How, as the incoming Director of Alumni Relations and Outreach, do you decide to emphasize that potential for Kapwa in the Greater Bay Area, and how will you ensure the connect connections listed in the Kasamahan Constitution will be fostered and continuously growing, not just through you, but your executive board? How have you worked with them previously? Because it's hard to make connections in over just a year. How do you ensure that people who want to come back? I think, like I said before, outreach will always be hard. It will, like, sometimes we'll send out something to someone and maybe we won't get the response that we want. But I think just, I remember, I, sorry, I keep going back to my research, but I looked up, like, I think it's the Bayanihan Community Center and they have connections to the Filipino Mental Health Center as well, and they have like this well-being like seminar, I think. And so those types of events, like going out to those, like physically being able to talk to them, I feel so it's like ways that we can show our support and hopefully keep those connections. Because um, like, it's one to just send an email, but to be there in person and show our support is always even better. for one more question. <clears throat> With your current board experience involving in school, personal life, and knowledge for Kasamahan event all the years, how will you ensure in Kasamahan and incoming membership will be getting the involvement it should have not only through the University of San Francisco, but through outside cultural, pre-professional, and academic organizations as well as the Philadelphia communities in the Soma and Bay Area, as you mentioned. The whole question? Or like... I can repeat the whole question. With your current board experience, involvement in school, personal life, and knowledge of our Kasamahan event calendar, how will you ensure in Kasamahan an incoming membership will be getting the involvement it should have, not only through the University of San Francisco, but through outside cultural, pre-professional, and academic organizations, as well as the Filipino-American communities in the Soma and Bay Area as we mentioned. Thank you. Um, It's not that simple, um, but I guess 